So you got your first betta fish, but find it a huge hassle to clean the aquarium. Keep watching as I show you the easy way of keeping the water nice and clear with minimal effort. Hi, this is A Gamer's Wife, here with practical and proven tips to help busy aquarists like you. And when I was a kid, a betta fish was one of my first aquatic pets because they're so beautiful and interactive. Unfortunately, I found it to be a huge pain to clean his bowl because I always had to catch him, dump out all the glass marbles, scrub them in the sink, and then transfer everything back. Eventually, I started avoiding this time-consuming chore and, well, eventually my betta fish got sick and died from living in his own waste. Poor thing! Little did I know there existed a miracle tool that has since saved me so much time and energy so I can actually enjoy keeping fish. Let me introduce you to... The Aquarium Siphon, also known as a gravel cleaner. This simple hose is like a vacuum cleaner, but without any electronics or motor, and it's about to become your best friend. So let me cover how to do a simple water change for your betta fish, which will only take you five to 10 minutes at most. You'll need three things, a mini siphon linked in the description, water dechlorinator, and a bucket with a pour spout that's big enough to hold mm, at least 50% of the tank water. Step one, remove the lid on the aquarium and turn off your heater and filter. Step two, in order to start vacuuming your fish tank, put the big tube end of the siphon into the aquarium and then make sure the small hose end goes in the bucket. You can start the water moving through the siphon simply by dipping the upright tube into the tank, raising it out of the water, and then before the water totally drains out of the tube, quickly plunge it back into the tank, still in the upright position. Once you notice water moving into the bucket, you can then invert the tube and start vacuuming the bottom of the tank to remove fish poop, uneaten food, and other detritus. Step three, once you've finished vacuuming and have removed 25 to 50% of the tank water, take out the siphon, empty the bucket, and then fill it up again with warm tap water that matches the tank temperature. Step four, don't forget to add water dechlorinator to the bucket or directly in the tank and then refill the aquarium. And finally, step five, turn back on your heater and filter, replace the tank lid and you're done. All the water change materials can go back in the bucket so it's easily accessible for next time. Now a water change once a week is pretty easy, but once a month, I like to do a deep cleaning in the aquarium. Here's my detailed routine, which also includes a few extra steps you may need if you've upgraded your betta fish to a beautiful planted tank. You're gonna need all the materials from before, as well as a water test kit, algae scraper, and maybe some aquascaping tools and fertilizer. So here we go again. Step one, remove the lid and then use your test kit to test the water quality and make sure all is well and good. Step two, Use your algae scraper, or in my case, a razor blade and toothbrush, to remove the algae off of the walls, plants, and decor. Step three, if you have live plants, now's your time to trim, prune, and remove any dead leaves. Step four, turn off the heater and filter and then begin gravel vacuuming the substrate like before. Step five, clean your filter sponge and other filter media in old tank water or you can be brave like Primetime Aquatics and wash them in running tap water. Step six, empty out the bucket, fill it up with warm tap water again, and add your dechlorinator. Don't forget. And then step seven, pour your water into the tank, turn on your heater and filter again, and then add fertilizers as needed. Bonus round, I've also got some extra tips for keeping your betta fish tank clean without a bunch of extra effort, such as, Add a gentle filter to keep the water from getting stagnant and gross. Don't overfeed your betta fish because less food equals less poo. Consider getting a bigger tank of three gallons or more because more water volume means it'll take longer for your betta fish to dirty the water. And then you can do fewer water changes overall. To learn more practical tips about keeping betta fish, check out the short playlist I've put together for you. Take time to enjoy your aquariums and I'll see you in the next video.